Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about indicators and some of the indicators you can make in your own home. So first off, we've got purple cabbage leaf. Now this is well renowned for the nice kind of purpley juice that it makes when you crush it up and you add it with a bit of water. So here, I've got mortar and pestle and a bit of purple cabbage leaf. Just some normal black tea uh, brewing there for about 5-10 minutes. I've got four empty cups, I've got some bicarbonate soda, and some vinegar or acetic acid. And this boiled water should suffice to help get all the juices out of the cabbage. First off, you want to don't worry about the mess, just grind it a bit. And as you grind it, you want to keep on adding more water. Now you could use just normal tap water, but I find that to be a bit basic and it can sometimes have an effect on the colour of it, because usually it's meant to come out. So we've got some juice there, and I reckon we're almost done. There you go, see that nice purpley colour? Alright, so we want to pour this into a glass. Doesn't really matter if you get any cabbage bits in it. Just pour some of that in there, maybe add a bit more water. And pour some of that in here. Just about, a tiny bit more. There we go. Right, so you can see that we have two purple solutions. They're nice full of cabbage juice. And as I said, the water is a bit basic, so it's not totally purple, it's been reacted. Um, so it's already picking up some of the alkalis there. Let's move that out of the way. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is test what reaction it makes when we put in an acid. Okay? Now, when you add an acid to water, the extra hydrogen ion breaks off and it makes it acidic. There, we've got an acidic solution there. So the acetic acid has this extra hydrogen ion on the end, and when that breaks off, it reacts and it changes the colour of the solution. And I've also got some bicarbonate soda here. You can use just about any base, um, or any acid for that matter, just as long as it's, it's got strong enough presence. You may see the stronger it is, the stronger the colour. So when we just add this to the purple, there we go, you see it makes a nice blue colour, and that's because it's got an OH group, hydroxide, breaking off, and it's making this a basic solution. So we've now got an alkali in there. And this can't just be done with just cabbage juice, you can also do it with tea as well. So if you pour tea into here. Now I know that tea is definitely a good indicator for acid, but I'm not sure how it will react with alkalis. So we'll just have to find out. Okay, so pouring the acid in here, the acetic acid, seeing what will happen. Right, now you can clearly see that that's gone much more yellow than this one. This one's still quite a bit darker. And if we add an alkali, I don't think anything will happen, but we can give it a go. Well, that's quite interesting, actually. Now, it's made it cloudier and a little bit darker. But as you can see, the main difference is between 
the acid and the normal tea color. So you got so very urine yellow here, and you got a very darkish red in this glass. Now the last thing that we can do is mix in the base, which has got the bicarbonate soda in it, in with this acid. Now you may not see some at first, so we'll add a little bit more bicarbonate soda. So this is vinegar in here, by the way. And look at that. That's it's made the solution blue and it's got a lot of froth. And that is because when the bicarbonate soda reacts with the vinegar, it makes carbonic acid, which very quickly breaks down into carbon dioxide in water. And that carbon dioxide is making all those bubbles that we can see there. And they're interesting. And we've now we can now clearly see that the solution below has become an alkali solution. It is now a brilliant blue colour. Thanks for watching guys. And I hope you've learnt a bit more about acids and alkalis and uh, indicators and some that you can even try at home.